In this session, we will discuss VISM OPC, OPC standing for Olay for Process Control, a standard to allow Windows-based applications to communicate with process control hardware and software applications. VISM OPC is an OPC client add-on to VISM software. It allows VISM to connect to any OPC server and exchange data with a process control device such as a programmable logic controller or distributed control system. Using VISM OPC, you can easily log data or run a virtual plant in VISM for offline tuning or operative training. First, let's establish a connection to the OPC server using our OPC server block. By right-clicking the block, we can select an OPC server already loaded on the system or connect to a server on a remote computer. You can choose to be connected to the server only when the simulation is running or stay connected so you can browse tags. You can also choose a plan of action if the server connection is broken, while the event log is a good tool to help troubleshoot any connection problems. While a simulation is running, the output on top gives you a connection status with a value of 1 when connected. The bottom output indicates the number of errors, if any, occur. Let's connect displays to the server block. By pressing down the left mouse button and holding, drag a wire to the display block and let go of the mouse button. The exchange of data with the OPC server is done simply with OPC read and OPC write blocks. Let's look at a simple exchange. We'll be able to browse our server for tags to exchange the data. Let's look at an OPC read block to get data from the server. By right-clicking the OPC block, we can set up its parameters. If you are connected to multiple servers, you can select one for your tag. By grouping your tags, you can configure many tags at once using the Group Properties dialog. Here you can give your group a name and select your group update rate. Some OPC servers use time bias setting to store time zone information. The information might be used to display server timestamps other than the local time zone. You can enter the difference in hours here. Some OPC servers have dead band support for updates from analog data sources. The dead band value is a percentage of full scale deflection. If you do not know the high and low limits for the items ahead of time, keep the default value for this field. For language ID, the default value 1033 corresponds to American English. For update notification, you can select OPC standards 1.0 or 2.0. The data exchange mode lets you choose between synchronous and asynchronous. The default is synchronous. While the group is in the active state, it will exchange data with the server. When you do not wish to exchange data with the server, you can disable this feature. As with group properties, you can select properties for each tag, update rate, data exchange mode, and active state. You can add, delete, edit, or move tags with these icons. You can modify the data type, default value, and the name as it will appear on the VISM OPC block. When adding, you browse the existing tags on the system. You can select the tag and its data type. You can add several tags at this time or import a list of tags from a file.
Here's a list of available data types. We can connect to a plot block to view the data. Now let's use a write block so we can input data to the server. We will follow the same procedure for adding a tag, making sure we select the same tag to input data. We can use a VISM slider to input the data. Before running our simulation, let's set up our simulation properties. We are just going to set the simulation to run in real time. This slows down the simulation enough to see our changes. You can have many tags in your OPC read or write blocks. Let's look at the OPC read block again and add another tag. This server has some pre-configured tags which will produce a signal. Let's increase the size of the plot a little. Here we can see the two channels of data being plotted. Now we can look at how we can validate a plant model. In this case, we can read some plant data from a server and see if our model produces a similar result. From the plant we will plot an input disturbance and the plant reaction. We can use the same input disturbance to feed our plant model. We can say the model is accurate if the output data match up. Once validated, your model can be used offline for troubleshooting or tests that may be impractical or destructive on a live process, such as startup or shutdown scenarios. This model can even be connected to an offline controller for further controller development or operator training. For more information on VizSim OPC, you can contact Visual Solutions or visit our website, which includes a free trial of the software.